Now every month, the female body prepares for pregnancy. This is a big deal. It has to get ready every month in case it gets pregnant. If it doesn't work, you don't get pregnant that month, it resets and it does the whole thing again the following month. This involves releasing an egg each month and also making sure the uterus is in perfect condition for an embryo to be implanted in it. As I said, if pregnancy does not occur, the body resets and it starts the whole process again. And this whole monthly cycle is what we call the menstrual cycle. And it's controlled by hormones. The menstrual cycle lasts on average 28 days. That's just an average figure. Sometimes it can be a lot longer, sometimes shorter. It changes month to month, but on average, and for the sake of, of learning, we just keep it simple at 28 days. And you can break it down into four key phases. Phase one is the menstruation phase, when you actually have the bleeding. This lasts for about four days as the uterus lining breaks down. Then phase two is the uterus lining starting to build up again, build up and up and up for about 10 days. Then Phase three, ovulation, an egg is released. And then phase four is about keeping that uterus lining perfect, perfect condition, maintain, 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 in case that egg is fertilized and implants in the uterus lining. It's controlled by four hormones. If you're doing dual science, you only need to know about estrogen and progesterone, but otherwise you need to know about all four, LH and FSH as well. Now, estrogen and progesterone are both produced in the ovaries. Estrogen, as you can see here, spikes sort of early on between about sort of day seven and about day uh, 12. And what it does is it causes the lining to build up, 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 for the lining to get thicker and thicker and thicker. And it also stimulates another hormone which is gonna lead to that egg being released. Progesterone is then, as you can see, by the green line on the graph, um, much higher in the second half, in that, fi that fourth phase, where you maintain the lining of your uterus. That's because progesterone maintains that lining and it also stops any further eggs being released because you don't want another egg to be released at that point if you've already released one and you might be pregnant. LH and FSH are both produced by the pituitary gland in the brain. The LH spikes to cause the egg to be released at um, ovulation and it gets stimulated by the estrogen. So estrogen goes up first, that causes LH to be released and then that causes the egg to be released. FSH um, increases in order to get an egg to mature in the ovary. And it's also inhibited by progesterone. So when progesterone is high in the second half of the cycle, again, you don't want an egg to be released at that point. So progesterone inhibits the production of FSH. And it causes an egg to mature inside a follicle in the ovaries to get an egg ready to be released.